Hi, happy Women's Day. I think the gift of health is something which is very valuable and uh, it is up to us to take care of our health and to that it's really important to have a wonderful and a, a proper balanced nutritious diet and uh, as we all know the skin is a reflection of our internal health and to that we will be discussing what to take what uh, you should include in your diet the role of supplements and so on Happy Women's Day to all the beautiful and strong women here. I'll be discussing about the importance of protein intake in your daily diet. The adequate amount of protein you take from the age of 19 to 30 is approximately 0.8 gram per kg. Are we taking it? And especially in people who are focused on muscle building, it's one gram per kg. So why protein is so much important? In recent studies. It's proven that almost 84 percentage of Indian population are having protein deficiency. You might think that a uh, protein deficiency might be related to hair loss and loss of proper texture of the skin, but it's not only that. It's it leads to hormonal imbalance and also metabolic problems. You have to take adequate protein intake in your daily diet. So there are vegan as well as uh, animal protein. So in vegetarians, you have to take. extra amount of protein that is uh, you have to take 1 gram per kg body weight even if you are not planning for muscle building and most of the times if you are taking additional protein intake in the form of protein powders make sure you work out do some basic exercise because protein is metabolized in the form of urea so you have to work out uh, even in the form of simple exercise like walking jogging if you are taking adequate protein intake I'm just letting you know the quantity of protein in the food that you take in your day-to-day basis. One egg has seven grams of protein, and one tablespoon of peanut butter has four point five grams of protein, and also half cup of grains has three grams of protein. There are different types of protein powders available in the market. The most common one is whey protein. So this whey protein is constitutes twenty percent of cow's milk, and casein constitutes eighty percent of cow's milk. So whey protein is good for your overall health, but it has negative effects in certain people when it is taken for a longer course period. Especially, it causes hair loss, where it stimulates hormonal imbalance when it is taken for a long period of time. And plant-based proteins like our uh, pea protein are very good for your overall health. which doesn't uh, involve the hormonal imbalance so these plant based proteins are prepared from peas hemp pumpkin seeds soy and all these things we use fat in our daily food some of them are good and some of them are bad the good ones heal and protect us from different disease of uh, cardiovascular system and also the cns when it is chronic it can cause real health problems the vegetable oil is got from plants seeds fruits and also from grains they contain fatty acids which are monounsaturated fatty acids polyunsaturated fatty acids and saturated fatty acids examples for monounsaturated uh, fatty acids are olive and avocado examples for uh, saturated fatty acids is coconut oil and for polyunsaturated fatty acids it's omega 3 and omega 6 Omega 3 they can lower the BP the triglyceride level and also the inflammatory markers in the body the omega 3 fatty acids they contain two parts the EPA and the DHA in the vegetarian source the EPA and the DHA are very less but in a non vegetarian source they are high and they are readily available the ratio of omega 3 and omega 6 have to be in a balanced form for the body so the need to take supplemental form is very essential On a daily basis, the daily dosage of omega is around 1,000 milligram. The sources for omega-3 are flaxseed oil, walnut, and fish oil. Omega-6 examples are uh, corn oil, soya bean oil, and sunflower oil. High temperature can destroy omega-3, thereby losing their antioxidant properties and their mineral properties. Their shelf life is also increased 
which results in increase of free radicals which can also be very harmful to the skin and they can also cause quick aging. So therefore there is a need to take long term supplements. So when it comes to diet, the three most important macronutrients are your fat, proteins and carbohydrates. We have already seen about fat and proteins, now let's look at carbohydrates. Now carbohydrates mainly give us the energy to do our work. Now carbohydrates are more inflammatory than your fats. Recent research has shown that and it's important to reduce the intake of carbohydrates in our diet. Now carbohydrates are mainly sugars, which is your simple carbohydrate and then you have um, starch and fiber. Now it's important to include carbohydrates in the form of fiber so that the uh, sugar levels are maintained in a steady level. Now if you include too much of sugars, there will be a spike. Your carbohydrates should include vegetables from potatoes or sweet potatoes and uh, instead of rice or wheat, please include uh, uh, quinoa or uh, millets or buckwheat. In intermediate skin conditions like psoriasis, it is known that to reduce the carbohydrates to 25 to 150 grams per day will reduce the inflammation. And a Mediterranean diet including uh, a good omega-3 fatty acids and uh, vegetables, high fiber intake will help in reducing the inflammation. Wishing all the lovely women a wonderful and a happy Women's Day.